Welcome to Be Smart Together. I mainly focus on Power Query and Excel. May cover the Power Platform in future videos. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification. Also, feel free to drop a comment to provide feedback, ask questions or let me know if there are any Excel, Power Query, Power Pivot or Power BI topics you're interested in. Today, I want to share with you one of my analytical challenges. It is a very simple one and a good opportunity to walk you through the construction. Each of the technical solutions will be covered separately in future videos. The dashboard I presented is based on the data set for the FP20, the mobile phone sales data analytical challenge. The data set is straightforward for people interested in practicing data analytical skills. We have been provided with a sales table and a calendar table. For time being, I have already imported the calendar table into Power Pivot. With the sales table, I want to make a slight modification to it. So, let's import it into Power Query. I want to have a slicer to switch between those items. It will be easy if we unpivot those three columns. In the formula bar, we can simply update the highlighted code to change the column name. Now, we can load the data into Power Pivot and save the query as connection only. We have the sales figure, but we don't have the costs. To get the costs, we need the unit cost and amount column. The amount column is the quantity column. I want to keep the dashboard relatively simple, so we only need to write seven measures. The first measure is sales. Although we have already had the sales column, I have a habit of still writing it. Use the SUMX function to get the sum of sales. Adjust the column width a bit to allow us to see it better. The next measure is costs. Again, we want to use the SUMX function to calculate the sum of costs. The first argument is the table, which is the sales table. The second argument is the expression. We multiply the unit cost by the amount. We now have the sales and costs measures. We can calculate the sales margin by taking the sales minus costs. Apart from the total sales, we also need the average sales. We can use the average x function. We want to use the values function for the first argument to get the distinct value from the year column. We then need to use the calculate function to calculate the sales when we deal with filter context. Average calculation can be tricky in DAX. Without the values function, your average calculation is calculated based on the number of transactions, that's B divided by A. What we want is the sum of the sales by year and then calculate the average. The measure calculation refer to the calendar table. We need to ensure the relationship between tables are established. Switch to the diagram view. Select the date column and drag it across to the date column in the sales table to establish the relationship. Then switch back to the data view. We want to create the same measure for cost. Repeat the average x function with the values and calculated functions. We point the expression to the costs measure. The second last measure is sales per country. The formula is the same as the previous one. The only difference is instead of average at the year level, we want the average at the country level. Start with average x function. Use the values functions to get the distinct values of country. We use the calculate function to calculate the average of sales, aggregated at the country level. The last measure is the cost per country. The calculation is same as the sales per country. Instead of using the sales values, we use the costs. We created all the measures we need. Let's export the result to Excel. Rename the worksheet to Dashboard. Switch to the Pivot Chart view. Expand the Sales table, select Country, Sales and Margin. Go to the Design tab and click on the Change Chart Type. Go to the bus section and select staked bar. We need to turn the value negative to have the margin fall on the other side of the line. 
switch to power pivot and select the margin measure. Update the calculation to negative sales plus costs, then return to Excel. Select the Y axis, right click and then click on the format axis. Expand the tick marks and select low from the label position drop down menu. Click on the X axis and check the values in reverse order box. Right click on the field button and select the hide all field buttons. Click on the grid lines and delete them. Click on the add button and add the legend on the top. Right click on the sales bar, select sort and more sort options. Choose smallest to largest from the pop-up window and click OK to continue. Right click again on the sales bar and select add data label. Repeat the same steps to the sales margin bar. Switch to the pivot table fields, click on the sales in the values field and select the value field settings. Click on the number format. Select custom. Update the format to million as highlighted, then click OK to continue. Repeat the steps we just completed for the sales margins values format. Resize the chart. Go to the insert tab, click on the pivot table and select from data model. Click OK to load. Select the country and sales from the sales table, then select the year from the calendar table. We want to sort the country by the sales values. Select the sales value from the descending drop down menu. The bar chart and the pivot table are now sorted in the same order. Go to the insert tab and select line. Select the location range. Go to the marker color and choose red for the high point. Sparkline is one of the excellent data visualization features in Excel. Select columns N to S, copy and insert it in column K. We are creating a heat map table. Find the type column in the sales table and add it as a slicer. Select column Q to AZ and insert columns. Replace the year in the pivot table column field with the type value. Test the slicer. Remove the grand total, then select the first pivot table row. Go to the home tab, conditional formatting, color scales and then select more rules. Choose dark blue for the highest value and light gray for the lowest values. Repeat the conditional formatting step for the remainder countries. Right click on the pivot table and select the pivot table options. Update the pivot table name to heat map, untick the auto fit, and then go to the display tab. Untick the first four check boxes, then click OK to continue. Select all the columns in the pivot table, format the font alignment to the center, and then resize the columns width. Go to the design tab and update the pivot table format to none. Remove the grand total. Insert rows for more rooms. Duplicate the bar chart, then change the chart type to line chart and clear all the attributes. We want to add the quarter from the calendar table and the average sales and cost measures we created. We can reset the axis by unticking and reticking the axis. Remove the legend and the Y axis. Add a chart title and name it average quarterly sales trend. Right click on the sales line and select add data label to add the data labels. Right click on the data labels and select the format data label. Set the label position to above the line. Click on the last data label and add series name to it. Also, we want to update the data labels font color to match the line color. Resize the line chart, then resize the column J. Scroll to the right and move the slicer to the first column. Go to the pivot table fields, expand the calendar table, add the year as a slicer, and then expand the sales table and add the sales as a slicer. Select the brand slicer, update its settings to no header and hide items with no data. Go to the slicer tab and increase the slicer's columns to three. Select and right click on the year slicer. Update its settings to no header name and hide items with no data. Go to the slicer tab and increase the slicer's columns to 4. Select the type value slicer. Go to the slicer tab and increase the slicer's columns to 4. 
right click on the slicer and select slicer settings, remove the slicer's name and tick the hide item with no data checkbox. Rearrange the slicers and update the bar chart name to rank chart. Now update the line chart name to quarterly trend and then scroll to the right, select the pivot table and update the pivot table name to sales trend. The next step is to set the connections between slices and charts or pivot tables. We want to connect the slices to all the charts and pivot tables. So, we need to repeat the step until we have all slices connected with charts and pivot tables. The next step is to write the cube value function. I normally use the cube function for card. Write this workbook data model for the first argument. The second argument is the measure, and it is the sales per country in this case. The third argument onwards is the slices. We want the function to connect with the three slices, a year, type and type value. Copy the formula from the previous row and update the measure to cost per country. The third one is the sales margin, and we take the sales per country minus the cost per country. Go to cell I3, use the text function, converting the calculation to the proper format. Duplicate the formulas, and then use the slices to test the function. In Excel, we use shapes to create cards. Type in the card label. We need to add a text box to present the sales value. Click on the text box, and enter the cell reference in the formula bar. Duplicate the shapes for cost and margin. The next is to add shapes to decorate the dashboard. Change color, duplicate the shapes and decorate. You can also use the color palette for the dashboard. It is always ideal to add background picture. Go to the view tab to disable the grid view. Right click on the bar chart, select format chart area and set the background to no fill. Repeat the step for the line charts. Slices formatting is slightly different. Select one of the slices, go to the slicer tab, and duplicate one of the existing designs. Set the background color to black. Go through each of the categories and clear the border lines. We're getting there and almost done. Apply the new design to the slices. Hide column K, keep going and refine the color, align the shapes, charts, font size and color, etc. We will have the dashboard ready. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.